Hey everyone, Board Game Brody here with a copy of Vrahod Age of Prophecy. This is a prototype copy, so it's not a complete game, but I have enough to kind of check it out, and I wanted to let you see what's inside of this box, so I'm doing this unboxing video. If you want to see how the game is played, please check out my how to play video. It is very detailed, way more than this is going to be. I'm going to give you an overview as you watch me opening up this game to see what's inside so that you don't just hear random things that you actually kind of see what the game is about. So in Vrahod Age of Prophecy, you will be adventuring across the overlands, the underlands, and oceans of Vrahod. The details of your adventures are contained in these encounter maps, which will guide you along the way, serving as a vehicle for the story, as well as visualizing important locations. Some of the quests will have multiple parts. For instance, one may have a part A and then a part B, and make sure you play them in order. You will start with Encounter 1 and then continue going on, and this is how Encounter 1 starts. A scream sweeps through camp, waking you from an already broken sleep. Rest comes hard on the edge of nowhere, surrounded by outcasts. You roll over and shut your eyes, hoping for a few more minutes of peace, but the urgent voices of trampling feet outside your tent convince you this isn't just the usual theft attempt turn stabbing. By the time you step into the morning chill, a group of onlookers, 50 strong, gathers at the edge of the camp, and more flood in every moment. It's terrible, says one Saroon man as you push into the crowd. How do you think it happened, whispers another. Plains shrieks is my best guess. You shoulder by and find yourself staring at a pool of blood trampled into the dirt of the plains. A polished black stone slicked with rust-colored muck glints into the morning light, and your stomach melts into your boots. You know that stone, one of only two you've ever seen. Is this the one from the Willow Wood Bow, you wonder, or the Silver Amulet? Whispers and gasps erupt as you step forward from the crowd and free a snapped length of curved wood from the carnage. You wipe the polished onyx stone free of viscera and mutter. Sharn, what you've got yourself into. In this cesspool of thieves, liars, and cutthroats, you've made a point to avoid attachments. But Sharn, he was one of the good ones. Maybe the only one, and that's counting you. An irritated slip of the tongue was all it took for Sheriff, the brutish Torlin, and self-appointed warden of this village of exiles to slap Sharn with a, a month of Thunderhorn Night Watch. You scan for the stone's twin, the silver amulet, Sharn worn on hunts. But more of the violence born grotesquerie is all that presents itself. Your only lead is the blood-soaked thunderhorn tracks cutting a trail away from camp. Gone, shouts Sheriff, bullying through the crowd behind you. You grimace at the stinging, raspy tone. Thirty head of thunderhorn gone. We are left to starve and shiver without meat and hide while Sharn, Cherif glances your way. This so-called huntsman can't weather a few diving plane shrieks. Plane shriek? The word escaped your lips, unbidden and with no small amount of skepticism. You and the other huntsmen have seen enough of the overgrown turkeys to know they only target the sick or helpless. Sharn was neither, but caught unaware in the night by a few cowards with daggers. You doubt my assessment, dare Sheriff? You know better than to challenge the brute publicity with so many of his goons surrounding. Of course you do, says Sheriff, before you can answer. He flashes a smirk, and for good reason. After all, why rush our judgment? His eyes shift to follow the tracks out of camp, and a sinister grin stretches, distorts his already grotesque face. And who better to sort this out than Sharn's seasoned huntsman's friend? And now on Board Game Geek, they say the age of inception is fading, and we can feel it in our very bones. Its cooling embers are already drifted into memory. Tabul's tail, the most ancient of omens, sits poised on our horizon, ready to cross our skies once again, ready to reign in the Age of Prophecy. There's no wisdom in taking stock of whispers from fools, they say. Perhaps it is time for a few of us with keener eyes and wits to get at it. 
the heart of what this new age holds in store for Vrahod. Again, Vrahod Age of Prophecy, it's the first game in the Vrahod gaming system. This exciting story-driven game will introduce players to this rich lore, unique races, deadly new enemies, and engaging mechanics that make this system potentially compelling for you. You will adventure across the overlands, oceans, and underlands of this seductive yet perilous world. You can join in this epic journey with one to four players ages 12 and older and adventure into a fresh fantasy world over 30 years in the making. Enjoy masterful art and cartography with artists around the world and writing that elevates the genre from epic fantasy writers Sean A. Dresler and Alex Fox. This is an expansive board game series and a system where players choose from six play modes and four difficulty levels to experience the heights and the depths of this mysterious world, but on your own terms. As you play through the game, you will be attacking these enemies, potentially using your skills and gaining more skills and more items to get better and better to be able to progress through this story and be able to continue fighting at a higher level as you go through it. You will find and gain rewards that will upgrade your, your characters with better things as well, and you will experience allies that will fight with you, you will cross the seas, you will do a lot of different things in this story-driven game. Overall, I hope this gives you a good idea of what you're seeing as I unbox this game. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Again, this is Board Game Brody with Let's Table It, where we get games to the table. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We are working hard to make videos like this one so you know if these games are ones that you want to get to your own table.